Hello everyone, my name is Azatru. True, how are you? And welcome to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 video of mine. And in this video, I am going to be doing a follow-up to a video I posted in February. And you can guess by the title and thumbnail what this video is going to be about. It is going to be about K-3PO, the protocol droid of the Rebel Alliance. So in case you're not aware, back in February, I made a video showing the Battlefront 2 version of K-3PO and discussing whether if he is dead. And the video got a lot more attention than I expected. So I thought, now we've got Jabba's Palace back in Battlefront 2, a map that he was on in the previous game for the Ultima expansion, it will be good to revisit the story of K-3PO. Well, before I do get into the new details, if you did miss the previous video on K-3PO, go check that out. There'll be a link on screen somewhere or in the description below. Go check it out and come back when you're done because it's important you know the story behind K-3PO from the first game and the legend that he is. So, Without further ado, let's talk about K-3PO now. Because if you remember, he was on the Jabba's Palace map. He was damaged, but he was in the torture room for the droids, as seen in Return of the Jedi. And Jabba's Palace has just been added back to Battlefront 2. And the first thing I did when I jumped on that map, when I got the update, was head straight to the droid torture room to find K-3PO. And it is with much sadness to say that K-3PO is not there. Yep, he's not on the map. Now, Jabba's Palace's map in Battlefront 2 actually is largely unchanged. Pretty much the only visual difference that is quite striking is the lighting. It's worse and it's a little bit different. But there's basically no changes to the map. Except for the fact... K-3PO is missing. You know, I got a lot of comments on the previous video saying maybe he's just powered off. Well, I said he died and he's dead. I've got more info on that later on in the video. But let's just take a look at this droid torture room. Because in the first game, he was in this corner right here. And there was stuff surrounding him like droid parts, arms, heads, that sort of stuff. And some metal that is irrelevant. And in the new version of the map, all of that is intact, except for K-3PO. He is not there. There is a space for K-3PO to be there. There is enough room for the model to fit in. But no, he's not there. He has been removed from the map. Why? Maybe it's because this version of Jabba's Palace map is set after Return of the Jedi, when Jabba and his crew are dead. And it's been left. And, I mean, well, well, it's it, the Rancor is dead, so it makes sense, right? But maybe K-3PO was destroyed. I don't know, something along those lines, like, by the droids that were working there or something. And his parts have gone missing. I mean, I did look around the map to see if K-3PO made his way into a different part of the map. But no, he's not there. So let's talk about his actual death. Because I completely forgot. I actually should have mentioned this in my last video on K3PO. He was dead in Empire. He was dead in Empire, somewhat. So, you can see from this image right here when Han goes to see Leia. You can see K3PO in the left hand part of the screen. And he's probably switched, like some of you positive people will say switched off which is totally plausible, but look at the damage. It's the exact same damage that was on him in the first Battlefront game, which is quite a good attention to detail because in Battlefront 2, in the Hoff map, he doesn't have any damage on him. He's being destroyed, but he actually doesn't have any damage to him like the blaster hole or whatever is here. I'm going to say that either something fell quite heavy into his body or the rebels killed him so the intelligence that was stored on him because he was a battle master so to speak. It's totally possible they blasted him and took the made sure the data was not able to be used by the Empire. 
And another thing I spotted in Battlefront 2 was I went back and revisited the Hoth map to see if there's been any difference to K3PO since I last saw him. And no, there has not, but I did discover something kind of cool. Like, it's not meant to happen that way, but regardless, it's in the game. So K3PO is actually on some ammo crates, boxes, I don't really, canisters, whatever you want to call them. And if you actually use, say, like a grenade, as you can see here, some explosives, you can destroy what's below K3PO. However, his body does not move. He just floats in midair. That's... I'd like to say that is not a issue with the way it's been built, which I'm sure it is, but maybe it's to display was force sensitive. I'm joking. I'm totally joking. You know, maybe he'll come back as force. I'm I'm joking. Okay, but look, he is floating. If you blow up, blow him up, have a celebration. Head over to the half map, do an explosion, blow it up. I don't know. Just have fun with K3PO before. He is never seen again. I mean, he's going to stay in the Hoff map, but he's not in the Jabba's Palace map, so I'm pretty sure any other map they make or bring back for the game, he's not going to be in. And how sad is that? Because he was in a couple of the maps in Battlefront 1, and we thought maybe we'll see him again. Except we will never see him again now, as he's dead, alright? So to all of you that said he was put in low power mode or switched off or whatever it's not happening i'm sorry to say he's gone and i think that's gonna mark the end to the story or rather the legend of k3po i don't think i'm gonna be covering k3po in the future anytime soon i just can't see him being in another multiplayer map but anyway i hope you enjoyed this video it's been different it's been fun and also quite emotional given this is probably going to be the last time I will speak about K3PO in a video. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. And if you've been following along with the legend that is K3PO, be sure to drop a like and comment below your thoughts on K3PO. Do you still think he's alive? Maybe. We don't know. Anything's po possible in Star Wars. I mean, I mean, anything's possible in Star Wars, especially if you've seen solo i mean but that is it thank you very much for watching again check out any of the two previous videos on screen and i shall see you all in my next star wars battlefront 2 video goodbye